Hi, I'm Mike Andrzejczyk with Virginia Cooperative Extension. I'm the horticulture agent in the city of Chesapeake. Today I'm going to talk to you about the myths of using gypsum in, in your landscape. So gypsum is calcium sulfate, um, a naturally mined m mineral that we can add um, to certain soils to improve them. It's going to work best on heavy clay soils or saline soils. And, and it will improve the drainage on both of those and improve the um, nutrient uh, issues with those soils as well. It's not going to improve other soils, so we have to be uh, aware of that. And um, we also have to know that it will also affect the pH. Um, it leaches uh, aluminum, iron, manganese, and magnesium out of the soil. So that could be detrimental to your plants. And it can also make um, phosphorus, copper, and zinc unavailable by binding them to sites and replacing um, calcium in that, in that mixture. So the other negative thing with gypsum is it can also reduce our mycorrhizae, which are the fungus in the soil that help um, plant roots bring in nutrients to the plants. So by changing the pH with this um, gypsum, you might be affecting your plant's nutritional health um, in a number of different ways. It has no effect on sandy soils, so there's no reason to add it for those conditions, and uh, it can actually um, affect the water holding capacity. Um, so we, uh, or has really no effect on the water holding capacity. Um, the last thing to, to be aware of is short-lived. It's not going to stay in the soil. It's calcium and it's sulfate, and those are fairly mobile, so they're going to be used um, up either by the plant or washed through the system fairly quickly. All right, so make sure, again, you do the soil test to see what you need, check out your soil type, and then um, uh, figure out whether that gypsum might be worthwhile or, for the most part, um, it's not going to be useful in mo many uh, home landscape situations. Feel free to give us a call if you have any other questions, and I thank you.